Coming up in entertainment news, Betty White's agent, Jeff Witches, shares his last moments with the legendary actress White. And what was the most pirated show in 2021? And Disney could lose copyrights to some of its characters. Fast and the Furious fans will no longer be able to smell what The Rock is cooking. We have that and more on Pop Culture 101. Stay with us. On the last day of 2021, the silver screen lost an icon, legendary actress Betty White. White's longtime agent confirmed the actress's death in a statement of People magazine. The actress has been a beloved fixture in the entertainment industry since the 1940s when she acted on several pop popular radio shows. She landed her first television role in 1949. White also acted in several movies throughout her years in Hollywood, landing roles well into her 90s. She's the Guinness World Record holder for the longest television career by a female entertainer, and she also became the oldest person ever to host Saturday Night Live in 2010. Betty White was 99 years old and just days away from her 100th birthday. Her agent, Jeff Witcha, shares that Betty White loved to play gin rummy. The last time, actually, I was with Betty about a week or so ago, we, we, we played gin rummy. That was our favorite thing to do to with each play with each other, and she was quite good at it. And as we play, we would talk and joke around. But when we played Gin Rummy, she was very serious most of the time because she always wanted to win. And so it was a running thing we had, the competition we had in Gin Rummy. And uh, it, it upset me a little bit because she beat me four games out of five. And she promised me she would give me a rematch. So um, we're not going to have that. But we, we talked a lot about her friends. Thank you for being a friend, Betty White. Well, David, Daniel has a look at the most pirated show in 2021 with a Hollywood Minute. We just don't know what to expect. One division won three primetime Emmy Awards, and now it's earned a more dubious distinction, the most pirated show of 2021 on Torrent Download Networks, according to the website Torrent Freak. Four other Marvel series on Disney Plus made the year's top ten list of most illegally downloaded shows on those sites. Out of all the things you do in life, there's that one minute that you feel like you're the most important thing in the world because everybody's watching you. To prepare for his starring role in Jockey, Clifton Collins Jr. talked with real-life jockeys and almost no one else. I cut off all my ties from, from Los Angeles, and I, uh, I spoke to two mentors, my grandmother, and the rest were all jockeys. So I, I was completely cut off from the outside world in the best ways, including uh, call blocking my agent. His focus paid off. Collins is nominated for Best Male Lead at the Indie Spirit Awards for Jockey, which is now playing in limited release. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. Winnie the Pooh and Disney are about to run into a spot of bother, as Christopher Robin's friends would put it. That's because the copyright protection for Winnie the Pooh will expire in 2022. Disney has made billions over the years from Winnie the Pooh books since the company acquired the rights in 1961. While others can use the characters after the copyright expires, they can't just copy the Disney trademarks. They'll have to make their own versions. Disney may also lose the copyright for Steamboat Willie two years from now. And in case that doesn't really ring a bell, Steamboat Willie is the earliest version of Mickey Mouse. Amanda Gorman has released a new poem to celebrate 2022 and remember the hurt of 2021. The 23-year-old propelled to stardom after reciting her poem, The Hill Will Climb, at President Joe Biden's inauguration. Her latest work, New Day's lyric, will inspire the stories of grief and perseverance she witnessed on social media. She told Vanity Fair that's why she partnered with Instagram to publish it. The social media site shared a video of Gorman reciting the poem to an empty theater. Gorman is also raising funds for the International Rescue Committee, an organization that aids people affected by humanitarian crisis. Fast and the Furious fans will no longer be able to smell what The Rock is cooking. Dwayne Johnson confirmed to CNN he will not return to the movie franchise. Questions about his return resurfaced recently when co-star Vin Diesel publicly posted he wanted Johnson to return to the franchise. According to Johnson, he told Diesel privately in the past he would not star in another film, and he's sticking to that. The wrestler turned actor and producer also said he has no plans to run for president. 
even though a poll showed nearly half of America would like to see him in the White House. And that's it for your entertainment news with Pop Culture 101. Stick around, we have a final look at your forecast.